Uh, hi, Year 11, just a quick one. Um, we're going to jump into a Zoom meeting at some point during this lesson as well. But I just thought I'd just share with you a quick um, demonstration on uh, using PowerPoint and a bit of video, um, what I want you to consider when you're doing your Cuba sculpture. So I've got the um, PowerPoint, which I'll put up on the classroom feed um, about how to approach Cuba sculpture and cardboard sculpture. Look, as I say here, um, it's it's... It's one thing to do realism, and realism is fine. If you if you really would just want to go, I just want to copy the object and and do a really cool um, cardboard sculpture of it, like we've got here or here. Uh, it's a bit more deconstructed because we've got the inside and the outside kind of thing, the object that comes from the box and all that stuff. That's that's perfectly fine. But um, you know, if if you want to go to the next level, abstracting, distorting, deconstructing your your object. That's kind of like more in keeping with um, our theme of modernism that we're looking at, all the modernist artists. And so this kind of will take it to the next level in a way. If we consider this um, image here, which I've harked on a few times, um, this is Picasso's interpretation of a guitar. It's called Marquette for guitar. It was done in 1912 and the, and the actual sculpture still exists. So, uh, you know, um, if we can kind of move towards more um, doing where's my, there it is, <laughs> doing this kind of uh, thing, um, that's better, that's more in the spirit of, of, of the assignment, I guess, and sets us more of a challenge. Um, it's another artist here, Nam Garbo, um, who was working around the same time as Picasso. This is a torso, and um, this is a like a reassembled um, version of, of their original model. So this is a model for a larger sculpture, which leads me to my next sort of thing that I want to talk to you about, which is about planning. So um, sort of, I guess, even if it's just something simple like an orange um, and you pull, you deconstruct it and open it up and show us, you know, the inside as well is 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 a simple way to, to sort of doing, achieving this kind of effect. Um, even that is, is, is a little bit more interesting than just doing straight realism, okay? Um, all right. One of the things you're going to, have to do, as I said, is you're going to have to plan. So uh, I'm just going to jump out of here now and uh, I'll show you what I've done um, so far. Uh, so, all right, look, I've got my cardboard. Um, remember I said, let's keep a cardboard box. This was uh, this was from my chair that I ordered. Um, got a bit more cardboard here uh, and we've got some other sort of bits and pieces. And um, look, I'll move that out of the way for the moment. You know, I've got my knife and I've got my knives. Uh, I've got a glue stick, uh, and I've managed to get my hands on a um, hot glue gun. Get the one that uh, has the little, the little smaller um, uh, glue sticks. Much better way to go. Okay, uh, much easier to manage. These are about. Um, you can buy these online um, from from all sorts of um, stores. Uh, Bunnings, the most obvious one. They're about sixteen dollars. So uh, that that'd be really good if you can do that. Um, while you're at it, get some masking tape and uh, just whatever you can get your hands on really. Uh, it, it, it would be a good thing. Um, I have the luxury of having um, last week grabbed from school one of these cutting mats. They're, they're, they're a really great thing to have in, on, on your desk so you don't slice up your desk. Okay, so planning. Here is my plan. So um, I decided to take this camera and all its components. So I've got this thing here. Um, and, you know, I mean, that's sculptural in itself, isn't it? But I decided to, to break open this, the, the idea of the camera and uh, create this sculpture. Now, on the lens here, uh, I don't know if we can see it, but there are um, little aperture numbers that are quite sort of significant to, to old cameras. The, these aperture settings, uh, and I, I sort of did, you know, the old school training of photography, and these aperture settings of uh, 22 and 16, 11, 8, 5.6, 4, and 3.5, they, they're like really significant in, in camera craft in how to in how to control your aperture. So um, what I've what I've decided to do is um, blow those out onto what what was the strap, okay. And uh, I've, I don't know why, but 5.6 just seems to be a cool sounding number. And so I'm going to make that part of the sculpture. So this is like a tonal drawing of what my sculpture is actually going to look like. The other thing I'm really fascinated by is the viewfinder. 
Now, view cameras are all about looking through the viewfinder and, and you know, this sort of window on the world. And it's a see-through thing, okay? So, uh, oh, it's round at the back. I'm going to change that. I'm going to make this round at the... I'm going to put a circle in here, okay? That's really cool. Whoopsie daisy. So, I'm actually going to... Um, Change my plan. There you go. So now I've now reflected the circle at the back and then the rectangular uh, viewfinder at the front. So I'm going to make actually a, a viewfinder above the camera and then I'm going to. Um, what was the other thing I was going to do? Oh, yeah, the bayonet for the flash is, is, a, is a really significant thing. Um, you know, so I'm, I'm going to blow that up on top of the viewfinder because it's generally there anyway. But can you see how we've taken something that's quite, you know, of course, do it. Do a realistic version of it, but um, it'd be great if you could if you could start to deconstruct it and blow it out into something that's more abstracted. Um, like if you're doing a toaster, um, let's let's see the toast. Um, let's see the toast. Let's see the coils on the inside of the toaster that cook the toast. Maybe put them on the outside. I don't know, but um, go back and have a look at the PowerPoint and and sort of think carefully about um, how you are going to uh, do more than just represent. Just more than just make a model of the object, represent some ideas around it and some ideas that surround it. Okay, um, that that would be that's kind of like the the idea of what we want you to do. So there it is there. And once you've done your plan, off you go. Then then you can start sculpting. Uh, so I reckon make the sculpture. If you can imagine your sketchbook, <clears throat> imagine that it's um, opened out into something that's about i'll just put this down on my desk so it's it's you know it's about a4 so two hands high you see that so make it kind of imagine this sketchbook your a4 sketchbook is a box it's got to be it's got to be kind of i'll just bring this back up and come back it's got to be like you know about that big about the size of a box an a4 box roughly Get started.